What's up, Tiki Team? Welcome to the channel. My name's Spesh, helping you conquer the Horde, and we are finally getting some details about DLC 4 for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. With the release of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War's Season 5 Reloaded, we have gotten a ton of new intel and whatnot into the game, and usually this stuff gets put into the game a little bit early, so that's why this is kind of dropping before the update actually goes live. But nonetheless, we have heard from Dr. William Peck as well as Kravchenko about where we may be going for the next iteration of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. DLC 4 for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies is likely to be the final map for the game before we go into Vanguard, which is one of the reasons why we're waiting until the end of October to get things for Vanguard Zombies because DLC 4 has to come first. And one of the very first things that we got in terms of intel for this is right here. This is a report from Dr. William Peck, and it says, Moscow. Progress report. Operatia Inzbavatel? In Test site Anna. Colonel, after several weeks, I believe I have finally triangulated Sergeant Kazimir Zykov's position in the dark ether. Having spent as much time there as he has, he is uniquely embedded within the other reality. It's no wonder he needs the help he does to make it back home. This won't be easy. We'll need to harness the primordial ether energy to generate enough power to bring him back. To that point, I believe test site Anna is our best option to run the operation. That sounds familiar. It was used as one of our initial test facilities for Operatia Inversia. As such, it's already equipped to handle excess amounts of ethereum energy and is the only facility with a power grid large enough for an operation of this scale. So I guess when I say best option, what I really mean is only option. With your approval, I'll begin preparations to move all necessary equipment to the new facility. We can begin construction of the machine immediately. From Dr. William Peck. And then we are given this little piece of a map here that obviously shows where this area is going to be. And there are a couple different ideas for what this means for the Cold War Zombie storyline and where we could be going. First and foremost, there's a really good chance that we go to the location inside of the campaign mission Red Light, Green Light. Or we could also be going to Solovetsky Islands inside of Russia. Now, according to Eric Maynard, there's a really good chance that it is one of those two locations for this brand new operation going on inside of Cold War Zombies. Also, to clear up any confusion, Treyarch in their newest blog post did say that this will be the final round-based map coming to Cold War Zombies. This is going to wrap up Cold War Zombies, which unfortunately does kind of hurt the idea that we could be getting Zombies Chronicles 2. Wanted to throw that out there in case anyone's still hoping for that. There's now a good chance that we won't be getting Zombies Chronicles 2. Now, back to what we were talking about before. So basically, it seems like this mission, or this Operatia Invisibel, or however the hell you say it, is going to be inside of Ukraine in Russia. With that being said, now looking at it from Omega's point of view, Kravchenko is really trying to make things right. Here is from the intel called Change of Plans, which I don't have the audio for yet, but I will read it off for you now. Kravchenko. My report on the Berlin incident has been well received by my superiors. We are in the clear for the moment. Peck, I'll bet, thanks to my quick thinking. Gorev, watch your tongue, come back kid, before I remove it. Kravchenko, while it pains me to admit, were it not for Peck's ingenuity and manufacturing of the warhead, I do not know if we could have stopped Valentina and her army. Jaeger, on this particular topic, perhaps we should discuss the interdimensional sized elephant in the room, the Forsaken, a solution is necessary, it must be dealt with. Gorev, ah, of course, Dr. Jaeger, you're still coming up to speed. We are going to rebuild Peck's inversion warheads. It's the only way to destroy the creature. Peck. Actually, Gorev, um, looks like you're the one still coming up to speed. We've moved in a different direction. Gorev, what are you talking about? Colonel? Kravchenko. There has been a change of plan, Gorev. Peck and I are developing a new solution for the Forsaken. Jaeger, is that so? Gorev, why was I not informed? Kravchenko. All will become clear soon. Rest assured, if it is successful, it will mean salvation for the Soviet Union, Omega Group, all of us. We will be heralded as heroes. And now one last little piece of intel here. This is called the Operatia Izbavitel Orders. 
Now this was sent out to everyone in Omega from Kravchenko and he says, as of now, all ongoing operations across all departments are suspended until further notice. This includes psychotronics, exoscientific phenomena, neuroanalytics, and tactical operations at all outposts, including the Ural Mountains. All resources and personnel are to be diverted in support of Operatia Izbavitel. Each department will receive specific instructions shortly as to their new role with the operation. Teams will be asked to redeploy to Redacted by Redacted. Each department is expected to complete their transition without delay. Please note that this measure is temporary. If our schedule is kept, all departments can expect a return to normal operations by Redacted. Skeleton crews will remain at each outpost with armed support to ensure our facilities remain under Omega control. I know that this move may come as a shock to many of you. As your commanding officer, I can assure you that this was not an easy decision to come to, but a necessary one. Operatia is Vabadabadabadel will determine the future of Spetsgruppa Omega. It is an effort that must be undertaken together, united as one. Its success will secure supremacy for the Soviet Union. It will be an honor to serve by your side as we achieve a better tomorrow. We will face adversity. We will have monumental hardships that must be overcome. We will persevere for the good of the motherland. We were the first, we are the last. So whatever it is that Peck and Kravchenko have planned, they are diverting every little niblet of resources to this new place in Ukraine. Now here's a picture from Margrobot over on Twitter, and this is kind of like basically what this facility looks like based on the intel that we read at the start of this video. So this picture is kind of what we're gonna be looking at in terms of how this map is gonna be working out. It's a darker map and Obviously, we're in this big, gigantic building or whatever this is. And it sounds like the goal is to get Kazimir Zykov out of the dark ether and use his different types of skill sets to take out the Forsaken. Now, if I was a betting man, I would say that this whole thing goes horribly wrong. I would say Peck, Kravchenko, Gorev, all of them get taken out because when Zykov comes out of the dark ether, maybe it wasn't Zykov at all. Maybe, just maybe, the Forsaken has been playing as Zykov this whole time, and in turn, Kravchenko accidentally releases the Forsaken. Now, if that is the case, then maybe Requiem Strike Team is sent there to take out the Forsaken and fix all this mess that Omega has caused. Obviously, we can't tell for sure if that's going to be the case until we get all the intel and everything coming for the map. Let me know down in the comments below how you feel about this new map. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. I want to give a quick massive shout out to any of our channel members or Twitch subs over on the channel, and a big extra shout out to the Zombie Richtofen members, starting off with hashtag best mod, Strict Archer, the walking dad joke himself, Commander Quip, and the man, the myth, the legend, Tiz Brandon ZR.